think first we'd like to thank very much uh, uh, Edos for inviting us to be part of this uh, enterprise. I think it's uh, fascinating. Um, and it was a logical extension. Reeves and I have been writing music and uh, songs for movies for years. But uh, I think the idea of developing a soundtrack idea for a game is really quite unusual. The idea of writing songs specifically for a game is, uh, was really a compelling factor. And it's the one thing that we wanted to do. And also, they didn't, uh, they didn't give us a preconceived idea of what we should do. We were left to our own devices. I wanted to know how computer literate you were before you got involved in this. Uh, not many people know this, but uh, actually, I was the first artist to take computers out on the road in the early, very early 80s. In fact, on the Sirius Moonlight Tour, 1983. So I've been. And, we, and we, were, we were going online then and delivering all facts and figures back to home base. Um, so my experience with computers does go back a long time. Um, I've been working on the internet now for about two years and actually six months in operation uh, on the internet. And I've been producing art on, on the computer uh, since 1994. So I, I did my first uh, series of things. So. I have, uh, I can mouse about. What video games do you play and which of them inspired you to do this project? My son is the games merchant in our household. Um, I've, I've played games. I've played, uh, of course I've played Tomb Raider. And uh, like every other hot-blooded male, I was in love with Lara. And uh, momentarily, then I realized that it was not real. It's just not real. This is definitely the end of a millennium. The idea of actually doing a soundtrack for uh, anything that's involved in, in a, a computer orientation was uh, a real magnet for me. And we approached it as though we were doing a film. What we were trying to do more than anything else is provide an emotional heart to the game. As the one thing that I did find going through the games that I viewed before we started work is uh, a lot of the games have a cold emotional drive. One of the things in a lot of the computer games is that um, the soundtrack doesn't always complement, it seems thrown in. So doing films and doing just regular songs is such a different kind of thing than an immersive interactive game. How did you take that into account well, when you were the designing one, the soundtrack? It's a very good question. I think the one thing that we uh, noticed immediately is that most of the material that's used in games is actually taken off albums. Um, very rarely is music actually produced for the game but they've sort of taken a, an album track here and an album track there. Um, and it, it sort of works some of the time. Um, but we were very, uh, we spent quite some time in Paris working with the team over there and understanding the depth and the many levels of the game involved. So we got a pretty fair idea of what the scenario was. We got to know some of the characters fairly intimately. Can you tell me what was involved in your actually being a character in the game as opposed to just supplying music with the game? Yes, I said uh, my priority was that I looked about 24 years old. <laughs> and that was my input, really. And then, they, and then for weeks and weeks they kept sending me sketches. No, 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 yes, that one.